So we're going to cut this thing out of there and let's see if it explodes. Episode four. I've been really, really looking forward to this one because we're going to get the top soldered into the sides and going to try and get the sound well soldered into the top as well. I talked before about getting some laser cut parts. I got those, so let's check them out. We've got some tops and some backs. I got some strips cut for the sides and the sound well, but that's boring, so I didn't put them out here. I also got the cover for the goes over the cone. It's a nice, it's a brass piece. I mean, that's really nice. That's a nice piece right there. Um, look how cool these tops are, these laser cut tops with the F holes that are perfect. And these F holes are bigger than the F holes that I made on my, let's call it my cutoff wheel top. I got the cone in here. I mean, it's unbelievable how paper thin these cones are. I could just smash it so easily. I could almost dent it just holding it. It's crazy that they can hold the string tension. I guess they're really strong when you push. Yeah, they are. They're strong when you push down on it. But boy, anywhere else that you touch it, wow. I got a bunch of laser cut rings, which is what sits in the bottom of the sound well and the cone sits on like that. So I am carrying on with the one that I've been working on with the cutoff wheel. I'm learning a ton with that one, so I want to keep going with that. Before we start soldering the top, I've got a little bit of body work to do on the top. Let's get to work on that right now. Enough talk. Time to start soldering. We're going to use some muriatic acid as the flux. Uh, it works really good. It etches the metal really nice and the solder lays down really well on there. This is my first go at it right here. The I'd say the first two inches of this solder job were a little bit rough. Uh, I had to go back and clean that up later. I actually really enjoy it. It's quite fun. It's, I don't know, I like it. This is where I started. You can see it's just, it's nowhere near as good as what I've been doing lately. Like, well, maybe it doesn't look like any different, but I guarantee you that's way better than this where I started. This is right here. The one thing that's kind of a bummer about this is this little torch, it goes through a little tank of gas so fast. It's crazy how fast it goes through fuel. Once you get it going and you get it pretty hot, it goes pretty quickly. I'm going to do a little voiceover here because there is something I learned during this process that I didn't bring up anywhere in the video or any of the commentary. Had I put the top in so that it protruded up above this, the top of the side just a little bit at even distance all the way around, I could have made a nice round over with the solder as opposed to, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm filling a flat surface with solder and then sanding it off and it that's just not it so i needed to raise the top up a little bit i've got to figure out what that distance is 
and come up with the plan for making that a rounded over corner instead of a sharp point like that. And it all starts by raising the top and the sides. I almost, I've, I've taken my mask off at least four times and hit my glasses and it, it hurts. All right, so it's nice to clamp this back and sides together, get a nice tight fit on it, which is easy to do. And then I'm just checking the height, like I'm a little high right there. Coming around, a little low right there. We'll put a couple more clamps on this and get it good. Okay, so the process is you do the muriatic acid on the joint that you want to solder. And the crazy thing is, is I mean, anywhere you get acid, that's where the solder goes. So you want to be careful that you don't just overdo it with the acid. You'll have solder everywhere. Um, I've already done the inside lip of this thing and the inside edge of the side, if that makes any sense. Basically, I've already done the inside where the top meets the side. I've already put the acid on there and etched it. And now I'm just doing the part of the top where I need to etch the top part. It probably makes no sense, but you'll figure it out. You guys are smart. <clears throat> Okay, what do we got? So you can see we definitely need to do some cleanup work here. I'm going to have to go back over it and add some more solder in. But I'm pretty excited. I know I, I know I can get it perfect because I've done it before on that test piece. And I'm not too worried about that. Looks like I got a little hole right there even. If National Resophonic Guitars saw this, they'd probably freak out. And I doubt they're going to be sending me an invite to come join their crew anytime soon. But hey, I'm going to get there. This is going to be good. Okay, I've got it cleaned up as good as I can, and I'm going to make a second pass over it and try and fix the pinholes and low spots and any little things that I need to fix to make this a perfect edge. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna leave off there for tonight. I think that's pretty darn good. Okay, off camera, I've been doing a bunch of work on this top and the sides that I've soldered together, and I'm gonna bring you in here and show you. Smoothing out all the top around the edges, I've got little dollies that I've been using, little wooden dollies I've been using, and a, for some reason I have a, a rock mining hammer. Um, you can see I got my old friend back out. What that thing does really, really well for me is it fills in any little inconsistencies I have on my edge. I think you can see one right there that the camera's picking up maybe. Um, you'll see a little bit of pitting here and there on it that I still gotta fix up. 
And that thing's actually working really, really well to do that process. Oh, I got a big one over here. Let's show you. Here's my big ugly one. So I'm going around and, and fixing any inconsistencies, any little problems I'm having on the edges. It's really not that hard. You just heat up a little bit and I'm using a really thin, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is a really, really thin solder. So I'm not laying a ton of solder down in these little spots. I'm just using that soldering iron to heat, get enough heat in there to get this new solder to stick and fill in that little hole. The whole thing's looking, I mean, it's, it's looking so much better. I'm gonna take a break from doing all of this solder cleanup work and start tacking in this sound wheel. No, not tack it in, solder it in. I'm a little bit nervous about cutting these braces out of here. Actually, not so much this long one. That one doesn't bother me at all to cut out, but I'm a little nervous about cutting this one out because I feel like it's got quite a bit of tension on it holding the sides in. Now, I'm sure the top being soldered in now is holding that just fine. It's probably not gonna be an issue, but doesn't mean I'm not nervous. So we're gonna cut this thing out of there and let's see if it explodes. Apparently you can over tack weld stuff. So you probably saw on the time lapse there. I struggled getting I struggled getting the long vertical one out of there because it was tack welded so well right here and here that I just couldn't I couldn't get it out of there without cutting through the horizontal brace. And so I knew that was coming. I was gonna have to cut through it eventually. So I just went for it. So this thing's holding its shape really, really well. No issues when I cut the braces out. So let's see if we can get this um, sound well located in the right spot in here and start figuring out how to solder that thing in there. bad news that sound ring it was a disaster for me you probably saw me using the clamps trying to get things flat and as soon as I started using those clamps it was messing up the edge I thought that was going to be easy and what a disaster that was I've got to come up with a better way to get the sound well in so that makes me very very happy that I decided to carry on with this what are we calling this the cutoff wheel top that makes me really happy I decided to carry on with this because I would have never known that that was going to be a disaster I've got two issues here. One is the top that I've been using all along. I think it's 25 gauge steel. It's really thin. You can probably see it flexing in a little bit of the videos and stuff. It's just not thick enough is what I've learned. The stuff that I had laser cut is 20 gauge. 
Uh, and it seems really, really nice. In fact, the sides of my of the guitar look amazing. They're holding their shape great. I haven't decided if I'm still going to try and carry on with this um, cutoff wheel top or not. Had I used 20 gauge or 18 gauge steel when I made the cutoff wheel one, I think it would have been fine. That sound well, it, what a train wreck that was. I would get it um, soldered down flat. You kind of saw me put a weight on there. It would solder down nice and flat. I'd move over to another part and start soldering, and then part of it would lift. It, things just went bad, and the more I clamped it and the more I worked on it, the, the worse it got. Quit talking, show us. Here's, here's where we're at. So I've got some issues, and I'm going to try and get the light to reflect on here so that you can kind of see what my issues are. You can kind of see the dents on the sides there. I'm not sure how to fix those. I've got some big ones up here, and those were actually made by the clamp. That you can kind of see as the camera moves around, I've got dents there. The whole thing's just wavy now, and I don't know, I don't know that I can save this top. It's beat up. And I'm actually really bummed that it's beat up because the amount I'm learning right now with this is incredible. I don't know. I'm going to sleep on it. I'm calling it good for this episode. I mean, I'm still stoked on it. It's I've learned so much and I've come so far. I'm not worried about getting the other one done. So maybe this is a small setback. No big deal. If I do decide to abandon this one, I'm just going to blow through getting the new one up to this stage real quick. I'm not going to bore you guys with the rebuild of that. I don't know, unless somebody wants me to. Kind of a drag that we're in and off like that, but what can I do? I mean, things happen and so we'll press on. Thanks for watching, you guys.